All right, what I'm going to do right now is break down the solo for Holiday uh, by Green Day. This is a really great solo to learn because it's relatively straightforward and it stays in one position for the most part, so you can kind of get used to using all four fingers. What we're going to do is we're going to start on the sixth fret of the second string. And we're going to pluck that note three times. Then what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the eighth fret with our third finger on the same string. Okay, so we have three of these. Then we move up to that note, which is the eighth fret of the second string. Then we're going to take our pinky and we're going to go to the ninth fret of the second string as well. So we're doing six, eight, and nine all on the same string. Now again, the picking for this could be different depending on how you do this. Um, you know, a lot of students will try and just do everything down. Um, you certainly could use some sort of economy picking using alternate picking, which is probably what I'm going to do here, but I think either way would just be fine because it's not too fast. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the eighth fret of the third string with your middle, or excuse me, your ring finger. Then you're going to go back to six on the third string. And then you're going to slide back to five on the third string as well. So you have. So you have three of these. Okay, then what we're going to do, you'll notice we've just shifted down in position. We're down here now in the third fret, or excuse me, the third string fifth fret. We went. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the pinky, but now I'm at the eighth fret of the second string. You see, basically what I'm trying to do is use four fingers for four frets. And I'm going to pluck that twice. And then I'm going to go to the eighth fret here with my pinky. I'm going to pluck that once. And then I'm going to go to the fifth fret. These are both on the second string. So I have. So I went from six three times to eight to nine. Then I shift up to the third string and go eight, six, back down to five. I'm going to do that note twice. And then I'm going to go to the eighth fret with my pinky. Then I'm going to go to the first fret. And those are both done on the second string. Then I'm going to go to the fifth fret of the third string. And I'm going to pluck that twice. Okay. Then I'm going to move to the sixth fret. I'm actually going to shift up now. I'm going to move to the sixth fret of the second string. And I'm going to play six on the second string to eight on the first string. And then go back and do it again. So I have. Then I'm going to go back to this note. I'm going to actually pluck it four times. I'm going to pluck it twice, then twice again. I'm going to do the exact same lick starting all over. So I have. And then back here again for those four. To the eighth fret with my third finger to the pinky, and then I'm going back to the third string, uh, eighth fret again with my third finger, back to six, back five, and I'm doing exactly the same thing I did in the first part. Then what I'm going to do is head up to the twelfth fret with my first finger of the third string, then I'm going to go to thirteen on the second string with my middle finger, then I'm going to go up to the seventeenth fret of that second string as well, and I just use the same middle finger. And you do that twice as much, and then you head to the 18 of the second string. And that's the end of the solo. So you have 12, 13, 17, 17. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little sense to you.